Here's the bare bone of an L binding in translucent uh, to show you guys the components of Skate Tech. We got the two kingpin here. Uh, this is the base plate, which we call the hanger. We've got a mounting disc, just a regular mounting disc, and the mounting post. And you can see that there is play here. So when this binding is on a board, the hanger pivots on the post via the two kingpin. You have one, two, three, four bushings. They're removable bushings. Uh, you can change the density depending on your style of riding or ride preference. They're the main point of contact to your board and for all energy transfer. So L, any energy that gets driven to your edges goes to those four bushings. We got two bindings here on the board. Got a now binding and we got a traditional binding. I elevate both binding of the board. You can see here I put a spacer underneath the disc. Same thing with the now binding. And the reason why I did that is to demonstrate how each binding would react. So with the traditional binding we start, let's say that you're doing a toe side turn you would apply force into that ankle strap, which in turn should uh, would lift the heel cup. So if I'm doing this and I'm pulling hard, you can see there's a bit of movement in the toe area, but not much. Now let's see what would happen with an out binding. If I was to do the same thing as a traditional binding, apply force up on the heel cup. And you can see that the binding is free to move. So it's instant. So, now skate tech bypass the middle of the board where there's nothing happening and it drives energy to your edges. Put my finger underneath the two bushing. Then I apply a bit of force on the heel cup and right away I can feel uh, the pressure on my finger. And if I, if I put a bit more, uh, my finger really gets pinched. And if I put even more, that really hurts. And you can see the indentation on my finger and that's why the now binding is so efficient at driving energy to your edges and this is done through leverage here is your now binding without the spacer underneath the base plate and this is how it would uh, sit on a board we're going to run the same test apply force upward on the heel cup and you can see that the binding is solid there's a bit of lift in the back but we all know where that energy gets driven and as previously shown earlier uh, all in all more power more control less foot fatigue